Hi, back again and we are formatting tables in Word and so let's have a look at what we are doing. First of all, we want to change the order of some of the variables that we have here. So for example, customer concentration, I want that to be next under developed country customer. But if I just move that up, then suddenly what happens? Uh, if I move that up to here, then suddenly this is hanging out. And do I do, do I, and then what about that used to be in column seven, but all the column seven items are now in the wrong column and should go down to column five, it become the new columns five. So let's, what we want to do is create a new column five and then suddenly we can grab the column seven, move that to column five. And notice that there's a problem here because all the numbers do not move and we lose a number at the bottom. So let's just go back and just show you how we can pick up all of them. So if we can copy and then paste and then all of, suddenly all the numbers we can move across. And of course that one, that orphan sticking out becomes an item here. Hmm. Now when you're wondering, this is the new column five. And what do we want to do now? Well, we're going to get rid of seven because now seven has been duplicated. That is customer concentration has been duplicated. And so we can delete that. Delete entire column. All right. And now we've got two orphans sticking out. Well, this one pertains to this one here between non-price selection criteria and customer concentration. Notice it was here originally non-price selection criteria was at that level and that's why it turned out to be this level. And then the difference here is customer concentration and monitoring. Okay, remember monitoring was the old six but now become the new seventh variable. So then we move that down to here. And so now we have repositioned or reordered one of the variables customer concentration. Okay, then we want to move another one now, market competition to under customer concentration. So let's move that under. We take the whole row, we can move that up to under customer concentration. But now, let's just go back a minute, find out at the moment market competition is number eight. All right, so it's number eight, there it is here and down here. So we can actually color that. So I just want to show you how we can relocate these rows and columns. Mm. So we number one, you click market competition, move it under customer concentration, fine. Next, market competition is now the new number six variable, so therefore, we have to create a column here. And if we move this across, we're going to lose the bottom one. So what we do is we copy and paste. See, we lost some of the variables, the 115 and 8. So what should you do? You should just copy the rows, those that are in a series. So there's seven in a series here. There's two missing here, and that's why that c problem occurred. So let's copy that, and we paste that, and therefore we have the full amount copied. And of course, we've got a problem with the width of columns, but we'll fix that in a minute. And so therefore, we can move that one separately, because that becomes straight across. The 0.02 was originally with the non-price selection criteria and a 0.01 was originally with monitoring, okay? And there you have the new variables set up and then we can delete this one. And it's gonna ask delete entire column 
and there we have our repositioned and notice we've got a problem with the over wrap around of course this is the new number six but for now we just want to move that column out a little bit and we've got a problem with that so what we can do is actually take all of the columns we go to layout distribute columns and we want to make the width we want to make the width of the whole table wider and we distribute again and suddenly we can move back to a single row for each variable so next we want to uh, there's market competition non-price selection criteria we want to move supplier involvement we want to move this one up because this one is the next one that I want to format so supplier involvement should go up to here and that originally we're going to move that to after market competition and so what does that mean that means supplier involvement at the moment is number 11 well technically it's 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 all right why because this is 6 this is 7 this is 8 this is 9 so therefore this is 10 all right and we've got the other numbers that we can update but for now supplier involvement is we want to move supplier involvement so what can we do before we do that let's just take away these highlighted rows okay and then we want to move supplier involvement we've got to move the whole row to at the top here and now you've it's number 10 so we're going to move number 10 back to it's going to be after market competition so therefore it becomes a new number seven all right five six seven so it has to come in here and then number 10 we cannot copy and paste all of that because it won't work we just copy we can move that across but copying is better than moving again it worked when we moved it but just be careful when you are moving it if you lose one you won't know you won't have a comparison to compare that error when it disappeared on the move and again we've got now some orphans 28 2709 become the correlations with the preceding proceeding after three variables non-price section criteria monitoring component complexity so let's put them in there shall we again and then we can get rid of this column so you do it one at a time it's better to do this way rather than wholesale changes because this way you can always double check that you're preserving the correlations between the variables you are moving and the other variables in the array so supplier involvement non-price section criteria then monitoring and so forth so we've got other items that are coming in one more is size so we want to put size and move that up why do we want to move size because size is here and size is always after monitoring so we want to move size which is a number 13 variable how do we know one two three four six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve so it's number twelve uh, six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve yeah, it is twelve so we want to move that to after monitoring okay there we moved it but now we need to create it now it becomes one two three four five six seven eight nine ten it becomes ten so here we've got seven we've got eight 
got 9 and we've got 10 and now what are we doing with 10 well it's a new 10 so therefore we create a extra column we will move the variables associated with the original location cut and paste that didn't work let's just try that again okay that was moved all right and then we've got the one that's moving across and then we've got the two orphans that need to be realigned with the original variables that they are correlating with and size 